Hey guys, Joe from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Sunday, December 1st, 2013. Welcome to the trailer for the demise of my YouTube Cyberstalker Chunky. Guys, a lot has happened over the last few months, and you may have noticed I was very quiet and I didn't utter a single word nor make a single video regarding Chunky. A lot of you guys wrote to me. Many of you expressed fear because you told me you have been contacted repeatedly and threatened by Chunky, whereas others of you wanted to know exactly what was going on. Well, today you're going to find out. I've got some major news, and this is going to be real interesting to see how this plays out. I have uploaded two more videos on my second channel. You'll see a link below in the description box to my second channel which is Crazy New York Driver with an NYC after it. I put the videos on that channel because they're controversial and they deal with mature audience topics and I don't want to imbue this channel with that kind of thing. So if you're interested please listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you do not jump right over to the important video on my second channel. The lead-in is very important so you understand what's going on, please. Most of you know exactly what has happened to me over the last two years, but a very, very brief outline. A person on YouTube who wears the mask you're looking at right now came after me approximately a year and a half ago, close to two years ago, because I made videos on how to sell on eBay and be successful. This person attacked me and my channel and tried to get me to help him sell his crazy, illegal, stealth eBay accounts. What he was doing was he was hiding his IP address, masking it, and he was telling people how to sign on to eBay after having been kicked off for some kind of fraudulent activity. He wanted me to promote this activity on my channel and name him and make him money. I said, the heck with you. I said, I don't want any part of you. So I made a video renouncing him. He then threatened me openly and said he would attack me on eBay, which he did. He created many fake accounts, bid on my items, and never paid me. Then he left me negative feedback. But the weirdest part of all of this was that he actually documented this, okay? This is the part to this day I'll never understand. He documented it on YouTube to prove he did it to me. Those videos are still available with his voice. You can tell it's him where he calls eBay and he tried to get me in trouble. Those videos are available on a special website. I will put a link to it, if not below. Actually, I'll put it in the other video on my, my other channel, and you can check that out for yourself. But to keep going, I then contacted eBay and met with the eBay trust and safety people. They understood what was going on, but they were only able to keep him off my particular account. They couldn't keep him off eBay entirely, so I myself took it upon myself to provide files and documentation as to what he was doing. All right, and I handed it to the powers that be. It took them a couple of months, but they finally ran this creep off eBay. Okay? Do you think that would end it? No. He then came after me on YouTube and attacked me, and he attacked my channel. He attacked a lot of you people, all my friends on YouTube. He was unstopping in his quest to try and hurt me. He attacked me online, just one thing after the other. So... Don't you know these stalkers, these internet stalkers, always get it in the end? Fox News took an interest in the case. Fox News investigative reporter Rob Wolchek actually followed this creep for a couple of weeks in August. They watched him. He would stay in his house all day long and not come out for anything except to go to Subway and get his hero sandwich and return home. He has no job and absolutely no reportable income that they know of. 
They also spotted him going to the movies alone. He apparently has no friends, and I think it's obvious why. But Fox profiled him. They asked him why he was stalking me and others, and this person actually denied that he was the person doing it. He denied it on camera. Okay? Now, you would think that would end the whole thing. No, it didn't end anything. He was so mad that Fox 5 outed him on national TV, he then got an illegal and fraudulent PPO order against me, a personal order of protection. He perjured himself in court and said he was in fear of his life from me. I live on the East Coast. I've never even been to Canton, Michigan. All right? So I was served with a protection order which said that I had to either answer it or not mention him in any way. Not that I ever really did mention him, all right? So, what happens next? I make one phone call to Michigan, and it was taken care of. A lawyer represented me in court, showed the judge what he was doing, what had happened, and they threw the personal protection order right out. He was made to look like a fool on national TV for a second time. And guess what he did? Guess. Just take a guess. He made a video on YouTube telling everyone he was going to go to court and wear a certain tie to plead his case. I mean, that was so stupid. There was no way he would win the case, all right? The lawyer said there was no chance for him winning. Given that, he either could have stayed home and just lost by not showing up, or he could have, you know, gone and not shot his mouth off about it. But he shot his mouth off about it, Fox found out, and they got him again. Now, guys, how many people do you know that have been outed on national TV once? Very few of you. But can you think how it feels to be outed twice? Now, I'm leading up to something here. I, the whole video is not about this guy, Chunky. Many people have asked me if he had any friends helping him along the way. The answer is yes. He had one friend and only one friend, and I'm about to expose him right now. It's been a long time in coming. I would love to have made this video sooner, but I was instructed not to. And I always do what I'm instructed to do for the good of the outcome of this. The person that has been working with him is a person we call the flip-flopper. He flips back and forth. His first name is Keith. He's always seen on video wearing dark sunglasses and a hat in a dimly lit room. I think you know who I'm talking about. Now, this guy Keith got involved at the very beginning of this, over a year ago, and started making bad videos about me, trashing my reputation, all kinds of nasty stuff about me. I don't know why he did. Apparently, his words, he claims that Chunky, my cyberstalker, threatened him. And in this case, I actually do believe him, and I'm going to offer concrete proof, because, unbeknownst to anybody, this person, Keith, has been playing both sides of the fence. He has provided me with concrete proof about Chunky scamming and other activities, which I am going to show you right now in my second channel. I have two videos already uploaded. I know you're dying to get there. Please don't go yet. I've got, I want you to listen carefully how this is. Right after Rob Wolchek and Fox News outed Chunky on national TV, this guy Keith contacted me conveniently and told me that he was being blackmailed by Chunky and that he did all those bad things against me and that he was sorry but he was trying to expose Chunky and he wanted to prove to me that he would expose Chunky. Now I don't trust the guy one bit. I think this guy is delusional and I think Keith is suffering from dementia. However, in all fairness to him, he does have some experience with Amazon as I will show you in some frames coming up on the next video. I mean, I admit Keith cannot talk well, he cannot construct a sentence, and his writing skills are terrible. However, he does know his Amazon and a few other things about this stalker, and he has gone to the authorities and contacted them without me asking him to do it. Chunky has been played for a fool, and he doesn't even know it. 
This started back in, I guess, September, thereabouts. The end of August or September is when it actually started. And this particular guy, Keith, started going after Chunky. He reported his Amazon accounts. He reported him to the IC3 site. And he has concrete proof on a lot of things that he could substantiate. So I figured Keith had finally seen the light. But no, he flip-flopped again. And about, I guess, a month ago, he stopped PMing me. And he joined back up with Chunky. And for whatever reason, I don't know, he started trashing me again. Starting, He started to say I'm not a good eBay seller. He started making videos about me. I would like you to go to his channel, and you can actually see some of the videos he has up about me. All right? He consistently bashes me. I don't know why. He begged me. He begged me in the personal messages to let him call me at my store so he could apologize. So, okay, I said, Keith, you can call me. And he did call me. And he was the nicest guy in the world on the phone. He said he was going to get Chunky arrested. He knew how Chunky was changing his ISP, his ISPs, and he knew what, who his cable vision, you know, who his cable company was and all this. And all this information will be given to you in the next video on my second channel. Chunky is going to freak out. All this time, Keith has been working behind the scenes to nail him. If they haven't got him yet, they will soon. The old saying holds true. Crooks have no honor. There is no honor among them. Okay? Chunky tried to blackmail this guy. All right? And this guy went and dimed him out. And in a serious way. So I will provide that information for you now. If you look in the description box below, you'll see my second channel. There's a video with a hyperlink there. If it's not there, I'll put it in the comment section. And if even if that doesn't work, it's the same names I'm using, Crazy New York Driver with an NYC after it. And there are two parts. The first part is 15 minutes, and the second part is about 8 minutes. They are actual screenshots of all the PMs Keith sent me starting the end of August to the present. This seals Chunky's fate. He's done. I got him off of eBay. Matt Zolo's working on the social security thing, as is Peter. And good old Keith nailed him on Amazon. The purpose of this video is not to give Keith any credit, guys. He's no friend of mine. I just wanted to make it known how Chunky got dimed out on Amazon and make Chunky look like a fool, because that's all he is. He's nothing. Thanks for watching, guys. Clicky, clicky. Click those links now and go on to my second channel, and I want to see as many comments as I can. Thanks for watching. Rock on, guys. Bye.